welcome back to the channel in today's video i will be talking about and sharing my thoughts basically giving a review on this cool miss humidifier that i purchased from amazon so it is the levoit i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing the name properly i think it's french it's the levoit ultrasonic a cool mist humidifier and it's their series class 100 i can safely say that i've had two weeks of usage with this humidifier so i basically can give a reasonable review of what i think about the humidifier uh, my pros or its pros and its cons so i'll just jump right into it so just as an FYI, I purchased a humidifier, which I should have done way long ago because I suffer with dry nostrils, which eventually cause no nosebleeds for me. And uh, my doctor recommended that I purchase a humidifier for that purposes. So basically, this is what the humidifier looks like. It comes in two parts, this blue part and the base, which this is a solid white. If you basically lift it off, straight off, you would have this part. And then this part is at the base tank where the water settles and it comes through the middle portion right here and it sprouts the mist through this portion. So if I turn it on, it has not much, you know, it doesn't have enough water, but you could see the mist coming through right there, right? And, and this is mist level one. So basically it has good mist level. If I turn it to mist level two, that's the mist level it gives off. And then for mist level three, this is what so you will hear the water trickling down i'm not sure if you're going to hear it over my voice but this is what it looks like and i'm glad i'm using the humidifier right now to show you that this light right here that comes on the red light basically it's a warning light or it will shut off on its own when the water has basically run out on the top part but we will you would still have water in the base tank but you would need water up into this blue area so that it could miss properly out through the tunnel i can't remember what it's exactly called through here for it to miss through here so right now the light comes on because i do not have enough water through here so i would say that's a pro for this in that it will Give you a red light a warning light and it will shut off on its own it will turn off because you are running out or you would have ran out of water so i like that about this humidifier so it is easy to assemble once you've read the instruction manual and you understand there's not much not much to it basically it comes fully assembled like this in the box with a plastic wrapper all you do is just take it out unplug the adapter cord and you plug it in when you want so that's basically all there is in terms of setting up of the humidifier this is the cap basically and if you see right there that's where the water comes to assemble provided that you've read the instruction manual it does come with an easy quick guide manual it comes with well this one in the box it, one, it came with sorry a one year extra warrant manufacturer's warranty so that was a plus so you just sign up with them and i guess if anything goes wrong within that time period they'll fix it or send you a new one one very important pros for me was the fact that it is filterless and a lot of people will wonder um is it filter do we have to buy a filter for it this one is totally filterless um you just put your 
distilled water and I'll talk about that a little bit more. You put your distilled or demineralized water in your tank and you're good to go. The instructions I think say that you're supposed to clean it two to three days and it does come with a little brush um, at the end of a little brush and at the other end it has a little sharp edge. So it comes with that for you to clean it and it's a value for your money. Um, I paid $59.99 for this and they had a $10 coupon off at the time. So that was $49.99. Yes, with the taxes and with Amazon, it was free shipping. So pretty much that's so it. Did it do the job for me? I'll talk about that after I discuss the cons and the cons are not that much. And I'm not even going to think that the fact that it uses distilled water is a con. It might cost you, so it might become a con for some people. But I think the reason why it uses distilled water, it doesn't want to use the tap water. And then over time, you have that mineral deposit in the humidifier and then after a while it becomes it, it doesn't function as it is supposed to so for some people it might be a con but if you look into it it's helping you um in the long run another con that i found with the humidifier well with this humidifier is the construction of the humidifier in itself being that in order to put the water in the humidifier, you have to lift it off. And I'm going to lift it off real quick and let you guys see. So you have to lift it off and turn it upside down. And this is how you add the water to the humidifier. So, and then you would close it back. You would also have to take off this portion, put it on a leveled surface and add your water to there turn it over back and then you know do your stuff so this is what the base inside the base of the humidifier looks like so the water settles inside this base and that's fine when you fill it up to the amount that you want it has some spillage going on right there um then you water eventually it goes down into this tank and it misses through that tunnel portion um, the correct name is in the pamphlet I'm sure it's not called tunnel and it's non essential it's not essential oils friendly so you can't use essential oils with this this right here is the night light so it does come with a night light so you can put that as a pro for you if you want one with a night light and um, a con for me right here is this portion right here. Um, I can't remember what this one is called. I might mention it. I might have mentioned it in the other clip that you will see, but basically you have to ensure that you keep this area dry. If it becomes wet, you dry off the surface and you turn it down and leave it for at least 24, 24 hours as per the instruction guides. That's it for the humidifier. I must say that you have to at least full it halfway in order to get a full night's usage of the humidifier for it to run throughout the night. The guide says at least two and a half cups or at least 475 mLs of distilled water in there. But if you do put two and a half cups of water that basically is useless to you. So I at least go half the way and it goes throughout the night. The mist level, as you can see, even the lowest mist, which is one, is a perfectly fine. It's good for me. Um, it misses off very cool, very nice. It doesn't give off any scent, or I should say it gives off a scent, like a sweetish, distilled water kind of smell. I know water doesn't have a smell, but if you're used to, if you have an iron and you turn on the iron and or a steamer, it gives off that kind of scent. Basically, my kids say that it smells sweet. Not quite sure, but to me, it gives off a scent as a steam iron or a steamer. Um, as for the noise, little to no noise, all you'll hear is the water that's going down 
and um, I don't think that's annoying at all. Um, so basically, it did the job for me. At, you pay for what you got. When it misses out, if it's close enough to you, you can, when you breathe in or when I breathe in, I felt the moisture going up into my nose, into my nostrils. So have I gotten any nosebleeds since I've been using it? Quite honestly, no. Not if Will I be getting any? I don't know. As I said, it does use distilled water. So if you're on a budget, you might have to use the humidifier every other night, depending on you. But a bottle, I bought a bottle of distilled water and it was under $2 and it is a four liter bottle. And it did give me about four nights use of filling the humidifier all the way. All right, so if you're looking to buy a humidifier and my review on the Levoit Ultrasonic Cool Mist Humidifier Class 100 series was helpful for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so if you like this video, go ahead to like, share, and subscribe. Share the video. Other people might see it that are looking for a humidifier for a particular reasons that I discussed, for all the reasons that I discussed. So yeah, see you in my next one. Bye-bye. So this is the humidifier. And on the face of the humidifier, it has this we'll call it switch and it's basically has these two blue um, arrows just letting you know that um, for each level one two three on either side um, and then on this particular side it's the miss level with light so you can miss then have the light on and this little gray thing that's where the light will, will come on and on this side which is the same one two three um one being low two medium and three high um you can mist only but not with the light if you lift up the humidifier you have the base this is the air vent that they are telling you that you need to keep this dry otherwise the humidifier will become defective will not work and it's also advising you that um, the humidifier is basically non-essential oil friendly. So you cannot use essential oils in this one. Um, and this part now is just basically, they call this the water tank. So this portion of the humidifier is called the water tank. And... As I said before, this part is called the air outlet and it's all inside the instructional guide if you decide to buy a humidifier like this. The most important part that I want to point out right here is the nozzle and the nozzle cap. So right here. All right, so it didn't come off how I want it. Right inside here, this blue thing is called your mist tube. This white thing is called the nozzle cap, and this is the nozzle. Here would where the water would miss from through this portion right here. So basically they're warning you on here as this warning sign and it's basically telling you that you should not add water from here or even if this is attached to it neither from here the water that you're going to put into the humidifier is not going to be doing it from here all right oh yeah you close this back Working girls, do you see that? You see that? <laughs>